Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ants of Our Adventures New Game Minus 4 video, episode 24. And you can see, well, it's been a long time since I recorded episode 23. And you can see this because I have E42 Ants Matter with no dimension shifts and only the default amount of time dimension shifts. And no galaxies, or just no, no anything. So I guess what I'll just do is, yeah, I guess I'll just, I probably do want to turn off automation at this point because... Some of the automation can be really dumb with stuff, and I could just press M, and I'm not exactly sure how hard it's going to be to get the first galaxy point, and once I start get, once I get the first galaxy point, it's going to be much quicker, and honestly, it's actually slower than I thought, even with all these upgrades and everything. Actually, another strategy I could do is because of the achievement I have only, I have not had last time, but I now have this time is that um, you gain 1% of galaxy points gained on galactic sacrifice per second. This is huge, because what it'll allow me to do is that once I can get to one galaxy point, instead of galactic sacrificing as I would before, I'll just stay there and then wait like 10 minutes. Then I have six galaxy points. So yeah, you can just see how much better that is. Um, com when when you compare it to doing each run individually. This will also make just the runs much longer. I'm not even sure if I'll ever reset for Galactic Sacrifice, just because of how good this is. I mean, maybe I will do it at some point, sort of like in the middle of the Galactic Sacrifice, where you where there's kind of an inflation of galaxy points. But everywhere else, like if I'm not in that inflation zone, which means... I'm not between like 50 galaxy points and a couple thousand galaxy points. It'll just be more efficient to not galactic sacrifice at all and just try to push as far as I can. So that's what I'm going to do. I actually will turn on automation again. It will be inefficient. I will say that. But I feel like if I can, I'll turn on the automation. I'll, I guess I can do automatic dimension boost and automatic time dimension boost as well. Which I know this will be inefficient. Let's also do automatic sacrifice. I don't really need tick speed boost at this point. Of course I want to get galaxies, but not galactic sacrifice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up. Hopefully in an hour or two, I will be to the point where I can get some galaxy points. Once I can get those galaxy points, I can start getting these upgrades. And they're even stronger because I have infinity twice. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for to see just how much faster the later part of the infinity is. It's... Shame that the early part is still slow. I think what I want to do is... Yeah, I guess I'm just going to get these upgrades. And they don't really do much. But, I mean, a lot of these upgrades, like this one, is based on your infinities. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be just a matter of trying to get these upgrades, pushing through the early part of the infinity, and then I think it'll be pretty fast all the way until, like, big crunch. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later, and well, first I'm actually going to turn off automation, and I'm worried that enabling disabling auto buyers will actually I'll just export instead of trying to do this manually. Do this. Okay, it does disable rather than enable all. So because the thing is, I now have a galaxy and just enough stuff to get everything going. And the reason why I'm I'm just doing this is I'm just worried it's going to time dimension shift and um, get rid of some progress. So what I'll do. You can see I have 16 galaxy points. What I can do, I can first get these. These are big. I can also get this, it's just decent. I can also probably, hmm, not sure which. I think um, this may be actually more important at this point. So I'm, I'm going to get that. Because the thing is that this will make galaxies much cheaper. And that will give me more galaxy points from... Galactic Sacrifice, which means just more galaxy points in total. And also, it's actually, early on, it's also a good idea not to Galactic Sacrifice because of this upgrade. I didn't even I didn't even think of that. So, yeah, 6 dimension boost, that means I can get this. I think I can get up to 6 time dimension shifts. And, yeah, you can see now it's 9 galaxy points. Once I get this, this will um, make things even faster. I can get my first tick speed boost, which... I know, I know the first one is safe if you have two galaxies. Um, I'll, I probably do want some automation. Like, I want automatic sacrifice. And honestly, every dimension auto buyer I will want. 
because there's not really at this point there's not a point to just not not having the dimension auto buyer, auto buyers going. It's more about like do we want a time dimension shift or everything? So here I do want a time dimension shift. So yeah, 14 galaxy points. This means I'm going to get 0.14 galaxy points every second, which is huge. And then once I get that, you can see 20 galaxy points. Well, if I'm getting a galaxy point every approximately 7 seconds, it's just going to take a little over 2 minutes to get this upgrade. And that's going to boost it by 9 times. That's going to mean that I'm going to get more like 1.3 galaxy points per minute. So and then once I get this, it's now even higher. It's point one, point, yeah, point one six, and maybe I can safely time dimension shift, and not quite at this point. So I think, yeah, at this point, it's just gonna take one minute to reach this upgrade, and then once I reach that upgrade, it'll be less than a minute to reach this, which is the really overpowered one because that. Once I start getting more and more galaxy points, it's just going to make things better and better. Also, I can do a safe time dimension shift here, which means that I can get even more stuff done. 18 galaxy points. It wasn't 19, but that was just because I had 40 eighth dimensions before, and I don't right now. But once I get 40 eighth dimensions, that's going to go up even more. So you can just see how powerful this achievement reward is. Also, this one, I am noticing the, the more powerful sacrifice. So now you can see it's 20 galaxy points. So our norm that means I'm getting 0.2 galaxy points per second, or galaxy point every five seconds. However, once I get this upgrade, yeah, it's going to be 1.9 galaxy points every second. That means it's going to be about 30 seconds to reach the 50 galaxy point upgrade. And there's essentially, now I can just purchase it right at 50 galaxy points because... I don't need to like galactic sacrifice or everything. Um, I mean, I guess I could do that normally, but I don't know because it would provide a negligible boost, and I don't need to reset everything. But now I don't need to reset everything, so that means I can just have it go along. And with this upgrade, I can. I mean, at this point, I'm not going to immediately want to purchase some of the other galaxy point upgrades, um, but. Yeah, also once I get three galaxy, like, intermediate of galaxies, I'll be able to get even more galaxy points. And I don't really want a tick speed boost because that's kind of unsafe at this point. So, yeah, it's really nice to see just how powerful this is, just using this upgrade. Like, you can see it's probably giving me maybe six or seven orders of magnitude of antimatter at this point. And I said how maybe in the middle of Galactic Sacrifices it would be, I mean, maybe it would be more useful to just get the 191 instead of waiting like this. I mean, I may try that next time, but I really feel like just letting it wait because I would need to build this back up to 191. And during that time, I would not be getting the galaxy points. So I feel like I could just do this. I can just do one huge run. So now I can get the third antimatter galaxy, which means I just. Essentially, it just means I can get more safe tick speed boosts. I can get up to six. I can get um, more safe time dimension shifts. Here's some tick speed boosts. Here's I can now get up to eight time dimension shifts without any resets. And you can see my galaxy point gain has doubled practically. So, and also I can get even more antimatter from this. So, and also once I do this, I can get some more tick speed boosts. After that, I can get another dimension shift, and, or dimension boost, and time dimension boost. That'll allow me to get even more galaxy points. So now I think I'm at the point where I do want to get this. Yeah, um, that was a good decision because that gave me about five orders of magnitude of antimatter right there. And maybe, I think I want to go up until maybe 500 galaxy points to get the tick speed boost give 32 free upgrades each. I feel like that's what I want to do. And already I'm close to 60 8th dimensions. I could try to get the 55 8th dimensions and then do a Tixi boost um, to try to just get it. Like, if, if, if I'm really good, if I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then that gives me the one Tixi boost. So 
I mean, maybe I'm obsessing over that a little bit, but I don't want I don't want the reset, but I do want the boost that comes from the tick speed boost. And also, also, it takes about 15 seconds to get back up to where I was. So now, since I have another dimension boost, I can do another safe time dimension boost. Um, and yeah, 645 galaxy points. That means I'm getting six per second. And I think at this point, it's good to get this upgrade. Okay, it's not. Hmm. It didn't really have any effect, which means maybe it was around the point when the upgrade was getting better than normal. So, I mean, maybe it did something because I have 700 galaxy points at this point. I keep saying points. Whatever. So the next goal is to get the E3 galaxy points. I, this is the point where I could try to actual galactic sacrifice. I still, I still don't think it's actually worth it though, because like I have to just reset everything. So I, I'm just gonna not galactic sacrifice. So the thing, the thing is with these upgrades is that I don't want to get them until I have like two thousand or even three thousand galaxy points. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a little later. I am have twenty one sixty galaxy points, and it's time to test if it is worth it to get this upgrade at this point. So is it? That didn't change much. I probably should have checked antimatter per second, but it I didn't really see any noticeable increase or decrease in galaxy or in antimatter per second there. So I'm just gonna assume that is um, that that's around the right place. Maybe I want 2200, 2300, 2400 galaxy points when I do purchase this upgrade. Um, let's let's see how much I'm gonna want for this upgrade. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until like the same point, maybe a little higher because this only starts taking effect at a thousand galaxy points. And yeah, just let's see what it does. Okay, I'm back up to twenty three hundred galaxy points. I'm just gonna do it at twenty four hundred. Let's see if the antimatter per second goes up or down when I get this upgrade. It went down, so that was too early. Um, yeah, hopefully, or next time I'll maybe try at 26 or 2700. I mean, I only halved my antibiotics per second, so it probably wasn't that big of a deal, but I got it early. Um, but yeah, also I noticed while I was just waiting that this achievement reward um, is multiplier per 10 dimensions is boosted based on the best time of your tick speed auto buyer challenge. If we go to statistics, we can go to challenge records. Oh, the tick speed challenge record is only three seconds. Okay. I thought it was like, oh, maybe it's like one minute and I can get that down to 10 seconds. But it looks like that. I already thought of that. Okay, so now I can get another galaxy and that's going to be pretty good. Um, of course, I, okay, yeah, of course I need to get the dimension shifts. I can now get up to 11 safe tick speed boosts. Nine dimension boosts, so that means I can go up to nine time dimension boosts. Um, I can get more tick speed boosts, and all of a sudden, yeah, I'm up to 9 tick speed boosts, 11 dimension boosts, 11 time dimension boosts, that's where I was before, and my galaxy point gain has doubled again. But I also wanted to um, notice that I could probably now get this, and something curious I noticed, it's actually not buying um, all of these as possible. If I press M, actually, even if I press M, it's not doing it. Maybe... I don't know, maybe it's an update, but let's see if this actually goes up. It did, it did not go up there, so that was a bad decision. I don't know why it's not buying these. I can max all. It's still not buying these. That's probably a bug of some sort, because, I mean, I'm going to try to buy these. Does it do anything? I don't see I don't see any change, so maybe, I don't know, this change is, this, this upgrade is weird. On um, each bot time dimension boosts to normal dimensions. I don't know. Maybe it is doing something. Um, I pr I probably do want to get that, but uh, it's probably so it's probably some sort of bug. Honestly, like that's that's the truth. It's a bug. It's not even an intended feature. But anyway, I have all the galaxy upgrades that I would normally get, which means that all I need to do is push to infinity. That's really the the goal here. And you can see I'm I'm up to well actually I'm up to twelve 
dimension boost, so I can get 12 time dimension boosts. And yeah, we're up to 80 eighth dimensions. This is going to give me about 32, yeah, 32 galaxy points per second. So that means if I wait an hour, I'll have tens of thousands, actually more than tens of thousands. I'll have 100,000 galaxy points. I'm getting over 100,000 galaxy points per hour. That's that's huge. Because this means that I can essentially um, wait a few hours and then easily push all the way to infinity. So, yeah, that's pretty exciting. This means that I'm probably just going to end the episode here. And, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.